and tells you where you are. One of the absolutely best places to spend your summer on, the tennis courts. Dee -dee -dee. Back of there, we do have the tennis cafe, which you can you know, buy drinks and something to eat, a little snack. And then we have these normal massa courts here, just red sand basically. And uh, yeah. And what, some of the biggest tennis tournaments in Finland are, uh, you know, played at this court. Oh, what's that sign? Peikkoja Princess. Oh, it's a new toy store coming up. That's cool. And then we do have... And all these fancy houses do have their own names. For example, that, that yellow one there is Villa Eva. This is the so-called casino, and don't get me wrong now. It's not a real casino, it's just called a casino, but it's not a real casino. And uh, it's, it's a restaurant, a place where many concerts are held. For example, we're gonna have Fintelligence coming up at this, at this month. We also do have, this is also the place for Hanko Sushi. This is just, you know, basic sushi, as you can see from over there. Anko Sushi. And coming up, for example, Fintelligence and some other artists. And we also... This is one of the most beautiful beaches here in Hanko. Uh, Chur. Chur. I did say Chur. Nothing else. Uh, we have, you know, flower plantations. And, you know, this. I think this has actually been a casino sometimes, but not anymore. Uh, this also had a spa back in in the 1800s. Here's our big outside stage. And in the first of May, everybody gathers here to listen out on the songs. And we are on our beach, and then we do have the Midsummer, what shall we call it? Midsummer Tower or something. Decorated every midsummer by the people in the town. And then we do have a little, we do have birds. And we do have this little font, fountain here. And this the casino itself. Now when we're gonna go venture in the nature, we're gonna see these casino mountains over here. As well as we're gonna take a look at these cannons and the history behind them, because there are uh, some cannons here on the, on the mountains. But this is only the main sightseeing scene, so... I've also right, never uh, been inside. Move on. Oh my god, I'm almost getting driven over my car. More cool buildings. And uh, so these do bike here with one hand only. And we do have some small hotels and models here at the road as well. Such as this Villa Maya here. Really don't have too many hotels in this town. You know, you really do have to kind of come to this road yourself to understand all these great buildings and stuff like that. That's the only way. Now we're back at the, uh, actually in downtown. This is our newest building. This house here. They are built by a milliner, 
millionaire in Finland called Jallis Harkimo. They're really expensive and nice buildings. They're just being built there. And uh, over here we have the Lion Monument. It's the Monument of Freedom. It's our freedom, you know, it's our yeah, freedom statue, like you have it there in New York. For our freedom, for our freedom in English. And these are the two lions that have become symbol for Chur. And the beach behind here is called the Lion Beach. And it's a popular beach for volley, beach volley in summer. Now there are many ways I could go now. I could turn right here to show you the uh, the ice cream places and stuff like that but I'm not gonna do it because we're gonna see them in a later video or actually we're gonna see them later in this video I want to show you now the coastline here continuing the swimming house we have at the end there let's put up some speed shall we Houses. And this big house here is Hotel Regatta. I think it's the biggest and best hotel we have in Hung in Chu right now. Uh, about 200 rooms, I would say. And it's a cool, cool little. All right, I'm closing into the Eastern Harbor here, which is a really popular place in, in the evenings, especially uh, on Wednesday evenings for a market. There are markets here, and I'm not going to show all the, all the markets, but basically they sell anything. They sell strawberries. They sell clothes, clothing. You know, small toys. We do have a you know a playground here. They play music. You can spend your evening here very nicely. And I'm just gonna uh, come back in a moment. All right. So here we have the uh, restaurant HSF or OSF, as it's more commonly called. It's a cool restaurant for uh, sailors and people. Over that. And then we do have the harbor over there, and the market is always gathering over there. And now we are closing into the uh, restaurant district, as I like to call it. Let's go take a look. And here we do have the uh, you know, dancing stages, and they're playing there, and that's a restaurant. And this is actually one of Finland's biggest guest harbors, in the eastern harbor of Chur, with I don't know how many hundreds of, hundreds of places. We also do have yellow house, and then we do have a little. Uh, well, I'm gonna show the statue later. It's a biking statue and a strange car you should have never understood the real use of. We're gonna have a new restaurant over there. And here we do have our restaurants classic pizza, and uh, over there. We have, you know, the Tivoli restaurant, so there. Classic pizza sells pizza pretty obviously. Then we have um, Macaroni Teras, a pasta restaurant. We do have restaurant Pirate. Um, and then we do have else do we have? What's that for a restaurant? I really can't see the signs coming to my eyes. Oh, it's Macassini, the magazine. And Origo. And here also, over there, I think it's that big boat over there. It's the uh, hotel boat. Where you can live in a boat and a hotel, and there's also a boat living for the uh, lighthouse of Benkchair, which is one of the biggest uh, places to visit here. So these are all old magazines, these red buildings. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, these are all old magazines, as I told you. And they have been, you know, places for stuff boats and stuff like that and uh, this is the old district they're building some new stuff here and this is actually pretty much the end of the road I wanted to show to you 
here we go up the hill to one of the highest points here in town the show called Vartiovori Ward Barriet uh, with two buildings that you cannot miss the church and the second building which I'd like to call the water tower or I like to call it the water tower it is the water tower now we're gonna take a look at the church next all right so the church the true the true church um, is here it's originally built in 1892 but it was nearly destroyed in the war so this new version is from 1953 and it has this cross on the top it's 1.9 meters tall and the tower is uh, I believe it's 14 meters um, I can't get in there right now but we're gonna see the interior also I'm gonna show how it looks like from the inside and then we do have this westry built in the 70s with a toilet oh yeah as well as stuff so it's a pretty beautiful church and it's a nice place to go to and there's always a guide helping you if you are lost or if you just want to know anything about the church we also do see a little building here and that is the town hall which we're gonna lay see our later. and you also see this little graffiti text at the right up and corner it actually says a bad 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 word and I'm gonna say and I don't know how anyone was able to actually um, you know paint it next up the water tower standing right just a couple of meters from the church also originally built back in the uh, I think it was the beginning of the 1900s uh, it was Finland's first water tower it was originally not looking like this but it was destroyed in the war as well by the Soviets who placed the bomb under it uh, as you may remember Soviets have uh, actually owned this as a uh, as a, um, a marine base after the uh, after the winter war in 1939 but we got it back in the con uh, continuation war in 1941 uh, but before that they used for example our church as a clubhouse they tried to explode it and the uh, water tower so this new water tower is built back in the 50s and uh, it basically carries all the tons of water we do need in our town and you can also get up all the way there and look for a little fee and you can look over our entire town we also do have a watch or a clock up there and the fish yeah that's cool so uh, we're gonna go up there and take a look however there's a really really slow uh, elevator so it's gonna take a while elevator here takes up six persons and the entrance fee is two euros for adults one euro for children we could also actually we cannot use the stairs but there are stairs up here all the way but anyway waiting here for my turn it's really really slow elevator and uh, yeah it's up on the fourth floor should be coming down in just a moment oh wait maybe we should press the button <laughs> yeah yeah so um, that's coming down three yeah but anyway um, I'll go in there and uh, see you up there <laughs> 